Welcome back everyone. Today's piece of jewelry was inspired by this piece of leaf. It was a part of decoration on a favor gift and as soon as I saw it I was no longer interested in the content of the gift itself and right away I uh, decided to come up with a design of a necklace which I am going to show you today. And aside from this piece of crystals I will also use three larger beads and I got them from Michaels uh, I think for 99 cents because they were in a uh, clearance section. I will also use three embroidery floss strings, an old golden chain, and I will also use two pieces of thicker string. This piece of string I took out from an old hoodie. If you don't have it, then you can easily use shoelaces and most likely you won't be able to find this piece of crystal. So what you can do, you can simply buy individually wrapped crystals, put them on a string and use those crystals instead of this. Now my necklace will be composed of few layers. So I'm just gonna get started with the first layer. So I have eight pieces of crystal leaves. I'm gonna use the first four now and what I'm gonna do each piece is connected with a golden wire and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to straighten it out and I'm gonna pass my first bead through the wire. Okay, and then I'm going to connect this piece with the second leaf, also using the wire that is here. And I'm just going to continue this pattern with the, with the other two leaves and the other two beads. So the first layer of the necklace is ready. I'm going to set it aside and now I'm going to create a second layer of the necklace. So I'm going to take the first piece of string and I want to make sure to mark the length of the first layer on the um, white string and I'm going to set this piece aside. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap uh, each uh, color of the embroidery floss around this piece of string. My second layer is ready. Once you are done uh, wrapping your thick piece of string with embroidery floss, make sure you tie a double knot here at the end. 
And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect the, the um, this layer with the very first one that I created. And as I said, here I have tiny little gold wires and I'm going to use them, use the wires to attach this piece of necklace together with the second layer. So after connecting both layers together, this is how my necklace looks so far. And now I'm just gonna create a third layer of the necklace. So I'm gonna use another piece of thicker string. And before I put this away, I'm just gonna measure approximately the length of the third layer. And I'm just gonna mark it with a pen. Now I can set this aside. What I'm going to do with this piece of string, I'm just going to take this golden necklace and I am going to wrap it around this string. And in order to attach the first end of the golden string onto the um, thicker white string, I'm just going to tie a knot here. And I'm going to hold this knot together with hot glue. So now that the glue dried up, I'm just going to wrap this chain around the white string. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly uh, wrapped around and at the end I'm just going to create another knot here. And I'm gonna use a hot glue to make sure that it that it does not untie. So now that my third layer is ready, I'm gonna connect it to the remaining piece of my jewelry using my uh, brown embroidery floss. And I'm just gonna tie a knot here, connecting both strings together. And I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. This way, the white, both white strings will be connected and covered with a brown string. So the, the, the necklace is almost ready. Now all I need to do is to cut off the um, ends of the white string and I have to attach the hook which will open and close the necklace itself and I'm gonna use the ends of the brown embroidery floss to attach the um, hook to the necklace. This is how my masterpiece looks at the end. Please check out my blog for more details and to see the outfit which I picked for this necklace.